accrual basis of accounting is founded on the basis that revenues and expenses have to be recorded in the accounting records when they are earned or incurred, not when cash is received or paid. This method follows generally accepted accounting principles. The cash basis of accounting does not follow GAAP, so it's not used very often. Accrued expenses are costs used in a period that are both unpaid and not recorded in the company's accounting records. All expenses that were used in an accounting period must be recorded before the financial statements are prepared. Examples of unrecorded and unpaid expenses can be interest expense, wage expense, rent expense, or tax. An example of an accrued expense is where a company has incurred $3,700 of utilities in December. The company may not receive the bill until January 31st, so they had or used $3,700 worth of utilities in December, but they're not going to pay them or receive the bill until the next January. If we want to prepare or if a company wants to prepare financial statements on December 31st, we have to make sure that those utilities are recorded in the books of the company as of December 31st. So we have to do a journal entry to record the accrued utility. The journal entry would be a debit to utilities expense for $3,700 and a credit utilities payable or accounts payable for $3,700. An accrued revenue is a revenue that has been earned in the period but is not recorded and not yet received in cash. These revenues must be recorded before the financial statements are prepared. Examples of accrued revenues can be fees earned, interest earned, or rent earned. In this example, $16,500 of consulting revenues have been earned by December 31st but have not been recorded or billed to the client. If we look at this timeline, the $16,500 of work was completed in December, but it's not recorded in the December financial information. If we want to prepare financial statements at the end of December, December 31st, we have to accrue or record those consulting fees. The journal entry to record an accrued revenue would be a debit to accounts receivable, $16,500, and a credit to um, and a credit to consulting fees earned for $16,500. We debit accounts receivable because we're expecting the customer to pay us for those revenues. And we credit consulting fees earned because we've done all of the work. We've completed all, everything we need to do to earn those revenues for the customer.